Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like hi-fi equipment, amps, speakers, DACs, turntables, receivers, cables, equalizers should cost more than buying your entire family waterbeds. Because nothing says I love you like getting everybody a giant bladder filled with tap water to sleep on at night. And this doesn't. What is it? It is the Loki. I'm not going to name say the name of the company because some people may find that um, offensive. Uh, the Loki. It's $150. It's from a company out of California that starts with an S and ends with a T. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Loki Mini Plus Equalizer. Today's sponsor is Tulsa Tony. He sent me the Loki to give it a try. Tony's been a plant manager at a Duluth Cinderblock manufacturing plant for the last 47 years. He enjoys iced tea, dog grooming, and watching Law & Order, all of the different spin-offs of Law & Order with his lovely wife. And they live in Tulsa. That's why I call him Tulsa Tony. He wasn't ever a plant manager. At, well, he may have been a plant manager at Cinderblock Manufacturing Facility. I don't know. We haven't really got into his background that far. So anyway, thank you, Tony, for sending this in. Equalizers. Back in the 80s and 90s, EQs were part of almost every system. If you didn't have an EQ, you didn't have a great system. Uh, I don't know if that's the truth. Anyway, they seem to have fallen out of favor in the last 10 years or 20 years because people say, oh, it's going to introduce a distortion. I didn't find that to be the case. Actually, sometimes when I hook up a product in between the source and the, and the amplifier, it may mess with the soundstage. Not this. So today we're not only talking about the Loki, but we're also talking about the Bellari. And I know I already did a video on the Bellari, but I figured we'd, we'd compare them here. Look at them. They're about the same size. Ooh, there we go. They're both made in America. Made in America. They're both made out of metal. Uh, you may see that one of them may not, you know, may, maybe be considered a little bit obnoxious with their color scheme. I know the silver is going to offend a lot of people and turn people off just because it's so in your face with the color scheme. I, I don't mind it. I'm just kidding. I like this one. Look at it. All right. So they both have four bands. The Loki actually has a base gyrator on the bottom at 20 Hertz. I must have 20,000. I don't know why. The Loki adjusts frequencies at 20 Hertz plus or minus 12 dB. And the 20 Hertz is actually a base gyrator. Not exactly sure what that is. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. And then it also adjusts, let's see, what is it? 400 Hertz and 2K, but those are only plus or minus 6 dB. And then it adjusts 8K plus or minus 12 dB. The Bellari is kind of similar, only it's low frequencies at 60 Hertz. It's plus or minus 12 at 60, and then plus or minus 12 at 7,500, and then plus or minus 6 at 400 and 2,000. And I like the 2,000 hertz adjustment on both of them because that's where i find some speakers to be a little bit in your face i use the klipsch rp 500m speaker in this test along with the bayou range mt34 mark ii tube amplifier sometimes i feel like the klipsch can be a bit forward in the upper mid-range area so i tested it brought it down okay they both have bypass switches so right here on the loki sorry about that oh my goodness this has got to be annoying for everybody right there right there and bypass so you can set your thing and then okay i want to hear what it sounds like with it off and then turn it off and then be like "Ooh, i like it more turned on the Bellari has the same thing only it's a switch okay on the back they look pretty similar the loki has rca ins rca outs and then a toggle switch for power the Bellari has RCA ins uh, and out, plus the 3.5 millimeter in and out, and then the power switch is on the front. 
I like both these products. With the Loki, I felt like I needed to adjust things up and down a little bit more or get a little bit more of the knob going. I'm not saying that it's not adjusting things properly. I just think that's the way that the adjustments are made on the Loki. And that company that manufactures the Loki knows what they're doing. So I don't think there's anything to be concerned about here, there. And the bottom line was I got the same outcome from both products. The Loki is 150, the Bellari is 120. Uh, right now, the Loki is back ordered about six to eight weeks, like a lot of things from their company. And I think that's a testament just to how good that company is about making stuff. So stuff is back ordered because guess what? It's in demand. Uh, I'm not saying the Bellari is not in demand, but you can get it on Amazon right now. I love both of these products. They do what they're supposed to do. I don't think you should be ashamed by getting an EQ if you want it. I don't believe either one of these affected soundstage or imaging or introduced any distortion that I could hear through my ears. Maybe if you hooked it up to some type of sound robot, you'd be able to measure something and say, oh, this is horrible. I don't think so. I think it's going to be fine. And I would argue that these products are going to be a lot less expensive than going out and buying a new pair of speakers because you don't like the ones that you have. Satisfy your need and want to go out and buy more audio products because I have that affliction too. I want to buy everything and listen to everything. If these had lights and they charge $600 a piece, I would buy them because I like lights. I used to listen to mine, my old EQ back in the, had to have been the 80, late 80s. I had lights all over the place. I didn't know what I was doing, but I sure like to listen to Pour Some Sugar on Me by Def Leppard in the dark and watch it bump everything go up and down. It was a lot of fun for me. I thought I had a pretty good voice, and then I recorded myself singing Pour Some Sugar on Me, and it turns out that I don't have a good voice at all for singing. Okay. If you're interested, get one of these products. They're $150 or $120. Don't let anybody tell you what your system should be comp composed of, compressed of. If you want to get an EQ, get an EQ. If you want to put ketchup on your steak, put ketchup on your steak. It's your steak. You can EQ your music and don't let anybody tell you you can't. Don't let anybody tell you that these aren't good products. This leads me to another point. I read an article just the other day, actually the other day being yesterday, by I think Absolute Sound is the website or whatever it is. And it was about Amazon Music HD. And there was a, the whole, the first paragraph, the whole first paragraph was about Amazon Music HD not being audiophile. It's not for audiophiles. But guess what? I'm an audiophile. I don't think there's an audiophile like certification process that you have to go through. If you want to be an audiophile, you can be an audiophile. Steve Gutenberg said, if you can listen to music without doing anything else, like dishes or anything, you're an audiophile because you enjoy the music. Guess what? I enjoy the music on Amazon HD, which includes, but not limited to, Korn, Metallica, Pearl Jam, Stone Temple Pilots, Alanis Morissette, Beastie Boys, all that stuff. They have all the music. So don't tell me that it's not for audiophiles. It's just perfect. And you can like whatever music you like and not feel like some person is telling you what you should or shouldn't like. Both of these are great products. Both of them are inexpensive. And if you're looking for a little bit of change in your music, you want to bring up the mids, bring down the highs, whatever it is, I would look into these. 150, 120 respectively. I don't think you can go wrong. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Audio Man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group, and we do face, Facebook only. We do patron-only content. The Sunday night Zooms are awesome. We get about 25 or 30 people in there, and 25 or 30 heads are better than one. A lot of the folks in there have decades of experience with high-end equipment, mid-fi equipment, whatever you want to call it. And just about every... There hasn't been a question asked in there that hasn't been answered. And a lot of those guys have forgotten way more about hi-fi than I'll ever know. You can also use the affiliate links. Now, with the Loki, I don't have an affiliate link with them. If you buy the Bellari, though, it's linked on Amazon, and I will get a commission off of that. It doesn't cost you any more, though. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. I know it's not for audiophiles, but guess what? It's all high-res now, included in the price. It's like $8 or $7 a month if you're a Prime member. Click on the link in the description 
and sign up. You get three months for free, I get a couple of dollars, all right? So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new EQ, the Loki or the Bellari, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.